Oh yeah, like the quality of this conference was like immense. Uh, the knowledge sharing is really like comparing to other conferences, this is like way up. So you, you guys are doing a really good job. So it's a bit eye-opening. Really the reason I came here is to see it proved, honestly. I mean, the, the name of the conference really is why we came, but to be able to see things in action and understand what components of the very confusing stack of technologies that we have to choose from in action was, was probably the biggest thing that I gained from this. And it's been a, it's been a pretty exciting conference. I can't think of another conference I've been to with technology that was geared towards teaching you how to use the different components that are, that are out there that we have to choose from. It's great. Love what you guys are doing. Um, it's very exciting for me because um, we've, we've got these challenges you know, in general where data availability is a massive issue um, and there isn't a common infrastructure, there isn't a common way to get it. You know, so lots of stuff is still sitting, it's tied into a machine, but you've got no access to it, or it's in a flat file or whatever. Um, so having this coming up from the bottom is great. It's amazing. The main purpose of Prove It is to get the vendors to show how it adds value. And uh, so it's not just a marketing conference, it's actually showing the technical details. So um, I think the discussions with standardization, obviously the demos that have been shown for how they accomplish the goal has been really good. I think Prove It is the only conference I've been to where they supply all of the data and infrastructure and they ask you to bring your technology and your solution and prove that you can do something. Um, I've been to conferences where you see a lot of PowerPoints, you see a lot of presentations. This is the only conference, they've literally got a system set up in the conference room, they're broadcasting data, and everyone's bringing their devices or they're bringing their software, they're connecting to the same data, and everyone has an opportunity to showcase how amazing their product is. If you're coming from industry, if you're coming from background where you know you see a lot of presentations, you, 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 it's really hard to smell the difference between good and bad. It's really easy to see it here because the data is fed in and you can ask them, like Walker says, you can ask them to prove it. It's pretty incredible. The prove it concept is great because it, it gives everybody the same playing field. All these different vendors can come and play with the same set of issues, the same data, and then end users can see how each individual solution plays out and who's who has what strengths, who, who can do what and who doesn't. The conversations have been extremely technical, down to the PLC level, how data is being captured, how tags are being used, what data is being transformed. So I think the, the level of expertise at the conference is extremely high. So it's not just top level decision makers, but actual the end users. Our technical questions are answered, we go deep into the, the topic space and uh, the, the pricing is transparent. This is like a breath of fresh air. You don't have to contact sales. You just say, okay, this is how much it will cost to you. So that's, that's really unique, I would say. I mean, that's huge because everyone's speaking the same language. I mean, just outside of like the, the UNS unified namespace of like literally everyone speaking the same language. This is a lot of engineers talking to other engineers, not necessarily to do a sales pitch or like your traditional marketing uh, sales pitch. So yeah, it's huge. It's just people being able to see a real tangible solution and how that might translate to real worlds rather than, um, you know, sales marketing pitch. I learned a ton. This was like a whole college class in 48 hours. I've learned more than most professors could teach me in 48 hours. It was incredible. Because you meet people from all kinds of backgrounds, from pharmaceutical to in industry, um, manufacturing, shop floors. You meet the people who actually build the applications. You meet people who build the products. And you know, when I, when I came here, I couldn't tell you what a SCADA system was, but I, I'm leaving here and I can I could probably go home and build an end-to-end -end shop floor with all the different products and ideas that I've learned here. The proof that there's a lot of technical expertise here is the fireside chat last night because it looked to me like there was probably over 70 percent of the attendance stayed for the protocol discussions uh, so that tells you right there that there probably wasn't a whole lot of management here <laughs> but technical expertise here is obvious and i didn't hear a lot of like choose ours over theirs or really is why would you choose theirs and it was a technical reason why it wasn't it didn't feel marketing at all so that was that was refreshing. You know, that's, that's kind of what we were talking about before we came. Is we want to go to this because it's 
it's not a sales pitch. It's a, here's how to do it. And here's why you would choose things. Not should you choose things. Everyone here who's presenting is the person who actually built the solution on top of the data that's broadcasted. So they have a unified namespace that's filled with all these different topics. And you can come and bring your product to consume the topics and build a vertical integration. And the people who are de demonstrating what their product does, they had to actually integrate it to the data. They spent 16 weeks building it, and they're incredibly passionate about talking about it. They love talking about how they built it. They love talking about how you can use it. And I th I'd say almost everyone's technical. There's maybe a few salespeople, but it's definitely not the norm. The value that I got out of this that I didn't really foresee was seeing how well everybody plays together in the space. So all the different vendors, how much their intermingling there is and how much cross collaboration. I hope it's like the future of where this type of event goes in the future. I hope that this gets adopted on a broader scale. Um, but Prove It has definitely innovated here and kind of been the, uh, the trendsetter. And with that, Prove It 2025 is in the books. We'll see you guys next year at Prove It 2026. Thank you, and I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. <laughs> <laughs>